You don't have to be a rocket scientist to fly an experimental jet, but it doesn't hurt either. During his engineering career, Bob Carlton designed radar and other components for satellites and Mars rovers. There's some stuff in orbit, there's probably some stuff on the moon, maybe a few parts on Mars. Now he flies aerobatic displays in a single-seat JSX-2 jet. It's in a class by itself. Uh, you look at an airplane and, and they, they tend to fly the way they look. And this one looks small and, and quick. And that's exactly what it is. Carlson pioneered the use of small jets on sailplanes more than a decade ago. Then he found a tiny jet in the Czech Republic that he thought would be a perfect match for the JSX-2 designed by John Monette of Sonics Aircraft. Well, there's two things about this aircraft that make it that, that make it really resonate to the average pilot. One is its size. You, you look at a, at a big jet, a big military jet, and, and a lot of people will just go, that's really cool, but I don't see myself flying that. You look at this and, and you go, you know what, I, I, I can see myself in that. The uh, Subsonics isn't just an air show plane. We've got, I think, seven of them flying now, and, and they're just having a blast with them. They go out, they fly them over to the next airport for a, a hamburger. All, you know, all the things you do with any other sport aircraft. Carlton has been flying air shows for about 25 years, and his diminutive airplane is a crowd favorite. But at 900 pounds fully loaded, it's a lot bigger than the satellites Carlton helped put in orbit. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.